this Saturday morning. Take your Bibles and let's go to an interesting psalm. It's in Psalm 137. And there are three cities that are mentioned in this psalm, and I think God intended uh, for us to have this analogy. You, you have the, the city of Babylon, and it's also called a country, uh, the country of Babylon, but the city of Babylon. And it represents, obviously, Satan. And it's Satan's capital, if you will. It was the capital of the first world empire that we read about, about back in Genesis. Uh, Nimrod was a type of the Antichrist and tried to build a one world government and everybody stayed together. And of course, God confused the languages and that's where we get the word Babel from and it's called Babylon. And so it represents that which is Satan's domain. But then you have another city mentioned and that is Jerusalem. And Jerusalem obviously is God's capital on this world. It is where God's presence was. But the children of Israel had so sinned against God and turned their backs upon God, God gave them back over to Satan. And so they were dragged off into Babylon for 70 years. And in this psalm, they're bemoaning the fact of the destruction of Jerusalem, which is God's special place. And by the way, those are the two last cities that will be mentioned in the book of Revelation. When you get to Revelation, uh, you will see Babylon will rise up again. The nation, as well as the mystery Babylon, that is its system of one world government of trying to oppress the people of God. Both of uh, the mentions in the, the nation of Babylon, as well as the mystery Babylon, are going to be set against God's people in that time. Uh, then Jerusalem also is mentioned as uh, the last uh, place in, in the book of Revelation where God's going to set up his eternal kingdom. The other, the other city that is mentioned or the nation that is mentioned is Edom. Now, the reason he mentions Edom is Edom represents all, again, the enemies of God that have set themselves. They don't necessarily uh, follow Satan, but they set themselves against God. Edom if you remember, is really a descendant. It's another name for Esau. And Jacob and Esau were brothers, twins. And they both came uh, from Rebekah and uh, from Isaac. But God chose Jacob and God did not choose uh, Esau. And so therefore, Edom became enemies of God's people. It's so that represents those people around God's people who are always crying out for the destruction of Jerusalem to destroy the Israelites. They're the anti-Semitics of our day, the people who hate Israel, who hate uh, Jerusalem, who, who hate the people of God. These are the ones he's talking to today. Now let's look at the psalm here. It says, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down, yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. And that's Psalm 137, verse 1. It would be hard for us to even imagine. I'm 60 years old and I've never experienced this. And these people had never experienced it either. That there would be a time when their nation would collapse. That once great nation under David and Solomon, and which had been a nation for years and had multiplied and God had blessed and turned its back upon God. And now they are in captivity. They are taken into Babylon just as the prophets said they would because of their sin. God destroyed their nation. And now they're sitting there weeping as they remember their temple, their, their worship, their nation, and all that is just a bygone. Verse 2 it says, We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst of it. For there those who carried us away captive asked for us a song. They said, sing, sing us one of your songs that is one of your traditional songs. And those who plundered us, that is the Babylonians, requested mirth, saying, Sing us one of your songs of Zion. And here's their answer. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? I will not forget you, O Jerusalem. Let not my right hand forget its skill if I do not remember you. Let my tongue cling to the roof of, roof of my mouth if I do not exalt Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom, 
for the day of Jerusalem when it was being destroyed, when, when there was an army encamped about it and the Babylonians broke down the gates and began to burn the city, who said, raise it, raise it, that is just destroy it completely to the very foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy the one who repays you for as you have served us. Happy are the one, happy be the one who takes and dashes your little ones against a rock. Now we stop and think, well, that's just not very Christian. You're, you're, you're wanting your enemies to be destroyed rather than praying for your enemies. They had seen their children destroyed. They had seen their children. Uh, and Satan loves the destruction of little kids, babies particularly. Uh, just look at the abortion today. Look at well, the baby boys in Bethlehem as, as uh, Herod killed all them. Look at the way Egypt killed the baby boys and throwing them in the river of uh, the Nile River. He just delights in attacking innocent children. That's just who he is. And that's why we know that abortion is, is satanic. It's, it's more than just a woman's choice. It is a satanic decision that they make uh, to destroy a life that God has given. And so these are praying that God would bring upon Babylon, and he will, uh, Isaiah prophesied there would be a destruction of Babylon and it was destroyed and that there would be a re recompense for how they had treated Israel. Let me just warn, always love Israel, love God's people. We don't have to love what they do, uh, but we love Israel and we want to make sure that we're not an enemy of Israel because God's uh, hand is upon that people and God is going to use them mightily. Let's pray together. Father, we do thank you that you have blessed us as a nation Help us to be mindful that that can be taken away from us at any moment, that we could lose our sacred freedoms and the prosperity in which you've blessed us. Help us to be mindful of that every day and to praise you for what we have. In Jesus' name, amen.